Let's see. G Madness. G Gladness. Hey, this is Red Bay coming to you live from the Comedy Mothership here in Austin, Texas, for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Get up for Tony Hitchcliffe! They love him. I never saw this coming. <laughs> I mean, do you hear the screams? You know, it's so rude. They do this thing now where they go, we're not touring ever again. If you want to see Kill Tony or Joe Rogan, you got to fly to Austin, get a hotel, airfare, and then pay $120 to see us minimum. It's like, oh, that's nice. You know, most people tour because they don't force their fans to fly across the country <laughs> to come see them. The idea is, hey, I've got all these fans that are really into the show. We should come to their city so that they could enjoy and have this experience. But no, Tony demands that you fly to Austin, spend thousands of dollars on a vacation, and then pay 100 to $500 to see Kill Tony. That's pretty fucking mean to do to your fans. You know, that's not like a... He thinks of it as a nice flex. Yeah, they come to us now. It's like, yeah, but at what cost? You know, not, these guys were all, you know, this is a very expensive show to go see. Was that, with the do best you have fucking that Instagram post where it bit him in the ass because now they're doing Netflix as a joke fest yeah, in so, LA and yeah. all the comments were like, I thought we had to come to Austin. Yeah, and Tony's been telling everybody how much he hates LA how much they don't need Netflix. And now Tony, Kill Tony is on the Netflix is a joke festival in LA. So he's going back to LA to do a show because, you know, he oh. wants to be a part of Netflix. Guess he's getting now. vaccinated. So now, yeah, I hope you get vaxxed. You're not allowed in that city, I don't think, without a booster, <laughs> right? Oh my God, I was watching H3 and their producer, Dan, goes, just got my booster the other day. It's like, dude, nobody's getting those. <laughs> you have to like find a specialty place. I went to CVS. I go, do you guys still do the Vex? They go, no. <laughs> they don't even do flu shot. The pharmacy's never even open at these CVSs or Walgreens anymore. It's always shut. They've really blown that. It's over. Night of their lives. Medicine is over. <laughs> so where's this mad part? Coming up. How about a hand for Red Band, everybody? Yeah. We've been doing this ten and a half years. You can't tell from the band to the intro transition, but uh, ten and a half years of practice he has at hitting that fucking go button. Amazing. <laughs> this is Kill Tony. Believe it or not, the number one live podcast. <laughs> in the world. Oh, did you see that? So Red Band, you know, pulled the jewels where he hits up and late, <laughs> and instead of treating, you know. The person he loves with some dignity like I do. <laughs> he decides to humiliate Red Band right at the start by yelling at him that he missed his and audio cue. Know. Which he's so cute. And nobody noticed. Here's the thing about Red Band's mistakes. Nobody notices. <laughs> Whether or not he hits the soundboard directly when you want him to, it doesn't affect the show. And we're not going, whoa, that sound came in late. You ruined the show. Like, we can't even tell. So it's useless to open the show by berating him and making it awkward, you know? And he's had enough. Look at his little face here. Let's see how he handles this. Button, Amazing. <laughs> this is Kill Tony, believe it or not, the number one live podcast in the world, Ooh. brought to you by Joe no. Blaster, the Red Rose Yellow. Hey, he doesn't like this. He doesn't want to start the show. And imagine you've got a crowd of 200 people all staring at you now. It's stressful. You know, after you've, you know, your mistakes have been uh, punctuated here in front of 200 people. And now he's got to sit there like this. So Tony starts the show by belittling Dan. Okay. okay. Here we go. Listen to this. Whole thing. SM57. But, uh, yeah. They call me but, gay. But, like, I have people. <laughs> no, no. You don't have imposter syndrome when it comes to that. You are, you are the real deal, brother. That's, That's two. two. <laughs> two. My goodness. For what it's worth, Tony, I don't I think you're gonna, gay. Yeah. When I go to bed tonight, I'm going to have trouble sleeping when I put in my dick-shaped pacifier into my mouth. <laughs> in your mouth or in your ass? <laughs> 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 
pacifier and the assifier. You know what I'm saying? For what it's worth, I don't think you're gay. Gay guys are fit. So she's been, you know, she tried to say this earlier. That's a fool's move too. Starting something, nobody's listening to you, and then you repeat it. You just got to let it go. If you have a joke and you try saying it and you get cut off, it, you got to throw the joke away. You don't just wait till you can do it again. Fool's move, big Bertha. So she says, if you were gay, you would be fit. She's doing a little joke. Watch Tony's response, okay? Tony, I don't think you were gay. If you were gay, you'd be fit, you know, in shape. Watch this. For what it's worth, I don't think you're gay. Gay guys are fit. <laughs> wait, wait a second. What the sorry. fuck? Celia. I'm sorry. Are you Hold doing on. a joke about how I'm not fit right now? Yeah, so if anybody that would know, it's offensive. me. Tony, it's a trap. A gay guy would react exactly like yeah. this. <laughs> Three. <laughs> there it is. He's mad, though. Watch. West side? Ooh, West side. <laughs> Celia. Uh, the pen's going nuts. So he was just, she said, if you were gay, you'd be fed. He thinks he's like really in shape because he takes steroids. Now he's admitted to this. He takes steroids and remember his workout routine. I'll spell it out for you one more time. Tony has two 70 pound <laughs> dumbbells by the window. This is true. He doesn't follow any sort of workout routine. This is his workout routine as stated by him. I have uh, two 70 pound dumbbells by the window. And, you know, every time I walk past them, I grab them. I do some of these. I'll do some of these. Most people do curls, you know, with uh, lighter weights. And I just grab the 70. I do two reps. <laughs> and it's working smarter, not harder. Why do... And it's like, Tony, there's a system to this. So, and they go, well, how do you do... so?" You only own two dumbbells. You don't belong to a gym. And literally just, so some days you'll lie on your back and just do chest presses with them some days. <laughs> do you do all of it? Is it a well-rounded routine? Or are you just taking steroids and doing the minimum so that you could just get some widening going on? That's not the same thing as being fit, okay? You're just a really skinny guy who started doing steroids and it's making you widen. That's all you got going for and you. We've seen your weird, body. Huge fat belly right your now. Your body, also? yeah, he has a Remember big G H J gut. What do they call that? T R T. Looks bad. He's got the big <laughs> gut. They all think that gut looks nice. They like an Alex Jones firm gut, you know, that doesn't move. A nice bloat. Imagine trying to get a belt onto <laughs> something like that. So watch what he does though about his fit thing. <laughs> West Side? <laughs> this West Side is so cringe. Celia. He's playing with the pen. <laughs> you doing a joke about me being unfit is like me doing a joke about you being healthy. This okay. This is incredible. That's like not a but thing. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm an fucking... expert at being unfit, so I would fucking know. Oh. Okay, Celia, I'm fucking ripped, by the way. I don't know <laughs> oh, sorry, what you're people. talking about. I know, you haven't... No, Michael. Shut up. Do, Shut the do, fuck up. Do, 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 do some push-ups then. Do it, do it, do it. No. I didn't mean to You're start ripped? that. <laughs> Celia, what else? So about he got ripped off his 70-pound dumbbells that he uses for every exercise. Occasionally. Can you believe it? I can't. All right, what's your next go. go? Any uh, setup that I need for this? Uh, this is another little red band moment. Little red band moment. Let's see how he treats him. Look at this guy loves every joke is so funny to him. You're not that good at drums. <laughs> You're not that good at drums. You're getting better. How does it start? <laughs> um, I didn't start doing it until I was like 14. I already had him pierced. But, uh, you know, a girl in your earth science class just kind of shoves a tongue ring through your ear and you start gauging your ears. Like, <laughs> You start gauging your ear. Yes. Uh, initially, though, I know where I first saw gauges and thought they were cool. Where? Uh, gay the magazine. Band Incubus. Can you, can you can you give your answer yeah. again? And we'll edit out Red Band's horrendous <laughs> non-landing with one human joke. What? Uh, the band Incubus. What uh, happened there? So I missed something there. Red Band tried to do a joke. 
Yeah, see, like, whisper when the guy Let's was see. talking about where he learned about gauges, Red Pan whispered, gay magazine. Gay magazine. And then Tony had to discredit him. Okay. <laughs> Even though no one Can you heard. give your answer yeah. again? And we'll edit out Red Pan's <laughs> horrendous <laughs> non-landing with one human joke. <laughs> Uh, the band Incubus. Oh, uh, <laughs> seriously. See, it's a great answer. Even the second yeah. time, it's amazing. Okay, so it's build and Red Band's feeling sure. pretty bad. Yeah, Red Band's feeling bad. And Red Band, we've been tracking this. We've been watching him mistreat you for 15 years. I mean, really, almost every moment, we're the only people feeling for you. We're the only people watching out for you. Red Band, you don't need to take this. He is going to fire you. So I've had this, you know, uh, long time theory. You know, Brian was removed from the Joe Rogan experience. This used to be Joe Rogan's main co-host. He was the creator. He created this show for Joe. Joe becomes a multi, multi billionaire or a zillionaire. And uh, Joe decides Red Band is too stupid and dumb to be on the show anymore because he wants to interview Graham Hancock, you know, and Brett Weinstein. Oh, God forbid, Red Band. And by the way, Jamie is dumber than Red Band. So you replaced Red Band with an equally poorly spoken person, okay? That's just as embarrassing to a smart person. Okay? When they see Jamie, they go, oh, God. So you should have just kept Red Band around, but you fired him. Now, Tony Hinchcliffe uh, and Red Band have been doing this show since the beginning. Red Band um, basically built this show for Tony. And they started out as 50-50 partners. I don't know if it's that way anymore, but I can see Tony making millions of dollars off this show now. You know, the show's getting millions of views. For sure. They're sold out uh, every night. You know, they're making millions of dollars off advertising, merch, and the ticket sales. Why does he need to be splitting that with Red Band anymore? Believe me, Tony is building a case to get you out. You need to protect yourself before it's too late because you're going to find yourself kicked out of Kill Tony just like you got kicked out of JRE. And I don't think Tony's going to do what Rogan did and give you a few million bucks because he feels bad. By the way, you're owed more than a few million. If you wanted to, you could probably get half of what Rogan owns. But you're like, oh, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's cool, man. It's cool. No, no, no. It's not cool. Get the money. You know Take you the mean? money from your friend. <laughs> yeah, you know. Towards the end of the show, Stavros is tired. Will he come to Red Band's defense this time? 155, huh? Okay, here we go. The big one. It's Tony. Yes. Um, I'm a little worried. Things have been kind of not looking good for me recently. Um... I, I got this job working for this. It was like a, it's a place where you can play putt-putt. It's a place where you can play laser tag. It's a place where they had these go-karts. And I was in line to becoming the top guy, Tony, at the go-kart track. And then I get this fucking phone call from this fucking private number the other night. And they're like, We're William not, H. Montgomery speaking. You're not getting hired. So the Rizla. what are you looking for, Red Band? Yeah, I know. He's so Ooh. who said that? Was that Stavros? Who said, what are you looking for, Red Band? Who said that? Listen to this. Getting hired, so. What are you looking for, oh, Red was, Band? Okay, it was uh, William. <laughs> so Red Band is on his computer going through a bunch of stuff. William goes, what are you looking for, Red Band? He's just playing around with him. They do a back and forth. You're not getting hired, so. What are you looking for, Red Band? Yeah, I know. He's so retarded. It's <gasps> unbelievable. It's an incredibly... Incredible episode for Red Man. He will literally do anything to crush any momentum or setup of anything that anyone else is literally doing did not do anything. I know, but what could you? So he finally he's kind of had enough. I literally did not do anything. He said. I mean, how embarrassing would this be? Yeah, this is a fifty-eight-year-old man. Really, he's older than me. He deserves some respect. He deserves some respect. Let's see this go down. I'll play it in full. Incredibly. Incredible episode for Red Man. He will literally do anything to crush any momentum or setup of anything that anyone else is literally doing Literally did not do anything. I know, but what could you possibly be looking up while he's doing uh, yeah, a I mean, setup Yeah, I mean, that was about like to that. be the funniest thing I said all night. What were you about ass? to do? Just, uh, what were Nothing. You thinking? I was not. I was just looking Flying for something. Flying through a soundboard? Yeah, okay. that's what I do here. Yeah, well, yeah oh. I know. And then you hit the, Okay. You suck, Red Man. Um, 
fucking period app. So keep going, keep going. No, you suck at this. tonight. It's not a period. I have, by the way, I have a period tonight. app, and every time he acts like a dick, there I put it on You're the period app, again. and it adds up. You're bombing again. I have a period <laughs> app, everybody, a period app. Yeah. You suck at your job. And when you do PC. suck... It's called PC. Look at it. Dude, See nobody it. gives a shit. Bombing. You Red Band, all you do is bomb. <laughs> What are you even talking about? Are you going about? to? Are you like going to edit in laughter after these things you do tonight? Why don't you just stop talk? Take the beating that you deserve, and then we move on. Put off. your phone down, dumbass. Sometimes you're great. Tonight was just not one of your nights. Oh. It happens sometimes. <laughs> God, he's like his he's teeth are too much. Much. The last word again. <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> you know, you've always been right about him, William. He's a fucking idiot. I've never said that, but I've always agreed with you. I've enjoyed it. No, just... I think William has this fake beef with Redman. Of course. He is trying to save, make Tony stop yelling yes. at him by doing his fake yell. So, Starbrush, you just sat back and watched this abuse happen. You couldn't chime in with a joke to save the situation couldn't save Redman. You just sat back and let He's him be too abused. Tired. Yeah. Too tired. Too many podcasts. Sometimes you're great. Tonight was just not one of your nights. Jesus. It happens sometimes. Period. <laughs> I have to say the last word again. <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> you know, you've always been right about him, William. He's a fucking idiot. I've never said that, but I've always agreed with you. I've enjoyed it. That's wow. why I've never stopped it. Stop the momentum of the entire thing. I'm just it's curious. So great you're a putt putt. Yeah, keep yeah, going about putt -putt. the putt-putt thing. It has that laser was... tag. It has putt-putt. It has golf carts. What else? Laser Ooh, tag. Putt-putt. And a lot of arcade games. All different okay, kinds. Okay, was that the scorcher? Yeah. There it was. And Can you believe? It ends awkwardly if you want to skip to 159.00. Yeah, let's go to 159.00. Look how this ends. So I think Tony forgets to thank Red Band as he's closing out the show. <laughs> And then remembers. He thinks that's a little too far. Let's see what happens. Now on Netflix, Gel Blaster, Red Rose, Yellow Rose, Hall Law from ConnectMobileHealth.com, Ninja Party Buses, Austin Security Guard Service. Make some noise for the great Michael Gonzalez on the drums, Paul Deemer on the horns, Matt Muling on the electric, John Dees on the keys, Thank and the Band. Madness on the bass guitar. The drawing from Ryan J. Ebelt is Jesus. in. He draws every episode while it is happening. Super fucking cool. Ryan J. Ebelt. Super gay. For that, or Check out kill the merch. Dot com for all your Kill Tony merch. Check out the Secret Show at the Sunset Strip, ATX.com every Tony, Thursday. Wait, Love you. Yeah. Pause and then go back and watch Tony's face while Red Band's doing his plug. Okay, look at this. Check out the Secret Show at the Sunset Strip, ATX.com every oh, Thursday. Oh, did you see that I wrote here? Watch Tony's Kill face. Kill Tony merch. Check out the Secret Show at the Sunset Strip, ATX.com every Ooh. <laughs> What's your problem? Bitch, hey. So watch this. Thursday. Love you. There he goes. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much. So he thanked everybody, the entire band. He thanked the kid who drew a picture of the show. He did not thank Red Band or say good night. Everybody, you give Red Band a round of applause. He doesn't do that. I think he realizes that after the show ends. Watch this. Every Thursday. Love you. There he goes. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. Oh, look at Red Band. Look at this. <laughs> what an asshole. Look at this asshole. So he now he remembers, I think. He knows. Look at his little face here. He gets up. He knows that's like super wrong to do. This is to pure pretend Red like Band doesn't appear to be honest. He yeah. Just let Red look. Band do his how about one more time for Red Band, everybody? Go oh. on. Now that we're off the air, one more time for Red Band, everyone. You realize that that would be too far to pretend he doesn't exist at the end of the show, so you painstakingly... Did you see his face when he decided he had to do it? Look at his face. He's about to walk off stage and then realizes, I, I, I don't know, they're going to probably think I'm awful if I do this. Watch his face. <laughs> Realizes right there. Did you see that little realization? And he doesn't want to do it. <laughs> he doesn't want to do it. He's like, ugh, but I have to, right? I can't be this mean. How about one more time for Red Band, everybody? Come on. Now that we're off the air, one more time for Red Band, everyone. Woo! We got your back, Red Band. Signing everything. Look, he's showing the period of. Up, and then Red Band is showing, yes, the period. Well, what could he do? He feels ashamed. 
He's humiliated and ashamed. And he's showing the period track around. I mean, at least Red Man owns his own comedy club, unlike Ooh. Tony. Okay, Red Man. Fight back. Okay, there it was. Red Man <laughs> being abused. That was a big one, huh? You're stupid. You suck at your job. He's going to look for a way to get him out of there. Trust me on this. It's coming. It's coming in that comedy community. Joke world, you listening? You better revolt.